Welcome back, everybody, to our continuing coverage of ASGCT 2022 in Washington, D.C. I'm Greg Slovakin, Editor-in-Chief of ScienceBoard.net, and I'm very excited to have with me Todd Carter, who is Senior Vice President of Research at Voyager Therapeutics. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Great to be here. Um, I was hoping we could jump off right at the outset and, and talk about Tracer, right? That's your AAV capsid discovery platform. Mm -hmm. um, Walk me through, I mean, how that product is differentiated from the rest of the market, because there's several companies that are working to optimize capsids. So what's, what's your value proposition? How, how do you see yourself as different in the space? Yeah. So we've been in the space for several years now, and we've learned a lot uh, over these years. Uh, there are two things that really drive the, the value for us. One is we start in non-human primates, Sinomogus monkeys. Uh, those are uh, most likely to be able to translate into humans. And so beginning with them sets us uh, up in a good place to be able to see that translatability. The second thing that we do is we, we use transduction itself. And what that means is we're not just looking at the, 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 the genome of the vector going into the various tissues, the brain, et cetera, but we're looking for expression off of that genome. And using that RNA level of expression really makes uh, the difference in determining not only the delivery of the viral, viral genome, but also the functional delivery of that viral genome. Very interesting. And, and this week you presented data on, on specifically to this platform? We have. So we have a, a couple of posters and a talk, um, a presentation. So we have two, two major presentations on this. Um, one is covering an AAV5-based capsid. Uh, AAV5 is interesting in that it does not originate in humans, and therefore most humans don't have pre-existing immunity to it. And so that really opens us the uh, opens up the ability of us to use that in more people uh, than than many other capsids. Uh, we also have another set of capsids that, that's quite interesting. This family targets not only neurons but also glia, which are two different. Those are two different cell types in the brain. And so what we're seeing with our tracer capsid platform is we can use it to, to kind of get around some of the pre-existing immunity that exists, and we're using it to, um, we're seeing the opportunity uh, to target multiple different cell types in the brain. And, and with other companies and the claims that they make, I mean, things like, you know, uh, selectivity and specificity of target cells, um, is this another area where you see yourself as, as being different and, and somehow your solutions are, are, are truly able to make those claims? Uh, so what we're seeing coming out of it is, um, so the answer is yes. Uh, what we're seeing are, are multiple tens of fold, in some cases hundreds to a thousand fold, better delivery into the brain relevant, relative to kind of the parental, the natural capsids. Um, and to date, those, uh, those data we haven't seen matched by other groups. Um, in that context, we're also seeing delivery to these very specific cell types, depending upon our, our um, depending upon the capsid family. So. And what does that mean specifically for dosing, for instance, and, and efficacy? So the whole field is going through a, a process right now where we're trying to deliver more and more to see efficacy. And what's happening is we're doing that is we're bumping up against dose limiting toxicities. So uh, with our tracer platform, what we're really trying to do, starting in the brain, but we think it can be applied to other tissues, is if we can deliver tenfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold better than that, we're able to drop the dose by that much. And that will hopefully prevent these dose limiting toxicities that the field is, is quite challenged with right now. So no company can do it on their own. I'm, yeah. I'm, so I'm curious, what do your partnerships bring to your overall approach? You know, how does that help in terms of innovation? Yeah. So partnerships really open up the ability to go after more diseases and to help more people. Um, we have uh, focused efforts at Voyager in neuroscience. Um, what the partnerships enable us to do is to work in additional neuroscience spaces, but also uh, diseases that affect other organs. Um, it helps us really leverage our, our capsids to, to help as many people and have as broad an impact as possible. And, and in terms of next milestones for Voyager Therapeutics, I mean, what, what's coming up and, and what are the, the big events that you're anticipating? Well, so ASGCT is a big event for us, and, and we have, I think, 11 different presentations this year, and we're very excited by that. Um, coming up, uh, we're continuing to move our programs forward. 
We're very excited about those. We're, we're pushing several things into non-human primate studies. Um, and the evolution and expansion of our tracer platform as we continue to look at different parts of the AEV capsid to mature uh, our individual capsids that we've already identified and expand, expand those families. Um, uh, those are our major focuses right now. And when you look at the industry, um, are there any challenges that stick out, things that uh, really have to be solved before these kinds of therapies can be widely adopted? Yeah, so absolutely, there are a few. Um, one, the dose limiting toxicity issue that, that we've talked about before. Um, we need to solve that and, and we're going about that uh, by trying to uh, create more efficient vectors uh, that will allow us to reduce the dose and target particular tissues more specifically. In addition to that, manufacturing is a challenge for the whole industry. And um, we're fortunate at Voyager to, to have been involved in manufacturing for quite, quite some years now. So uh, I think those are two of the, the greatest uh, challenges right now that we're working to solve. Yeah. Just, just going back to the partnerships for a minute, I mean, are these academic centers as well as companies, or is it mainly focused on, on uh, other companies? No. Uh, primarily right now, our partnerships um, on the capsids are, are other uh, industry partners. Gotcha. Um, where we're working with them, they're taking them and applying them to their own programs because they, uh, we think they see the value and, and the opportunity they provide to do exactly what we're doing and the indications we're pursuing. Gotcha. Well, it's, it's great meeting with you, and uh, I wish you all the best uh, in ASGCT and everything else that comes afterwards. Thank you very much. Glad Absolutely. to be here. Thank you, and uh, stay tuned for more coverage from ASGCT. Thanks. Thanks.